no fruit juice for kids under 1. Pediatrician's advice, children should not be given fruit juice before they are 1 year old unless it's advised by a doctor, according to new guidelines from the American Academy of Pediatrics, published Monday in the journal Pediatrics. The group had previously advised parents to wait to offer juice until a child reached 6 months old but decided to make the change based on rising rates of obesity and concerns about tooth cavities. We couldn't really see any reason why juice was still part of the potential recommendation for 6 to 12 month old kids, said Drive, Stephen A. Abrams, chairman of the Department of Pediatrics at the Dell Medical School at the University of Texas, and co-author of the policy statement, we recommend breastfeeding or formula in that age group, and there really isn't any need or beneficial role for juice. So we kind of made that adjustment. It is the first change to the Academy's fruit juice recommendations since 2001. It wasn't some magical new science that inspired the alteration, noted Abrams, but rather this guideline hadn't been looked at in a long time, so we thought it was time to take a close look. Not good for the teeth. Children and teens continue to be the top consumers of juice and juice drinks in the U.S. The policy statement notes, the problem is, parents will stick a bottle or sippy cup in the kid's mouth and kind of leave it there all day. That's not good from the calorie intake perspective, and it's sure not good for the teeth, Abrams said. What happens is, the kid then gets used to all the sugar, and then they won't drink water. Despite this important caveat, the Academy is standing by juice. The new guidelines state that 100% fresh or reconstituted fruit juice can be a healthy part of a well-balanced diet for children older than one. That said, the Academy advises parents to limit juice to 4 ounces daily for toddlers between 1 and 3 years old. Juice should be provided in a cup, not a bottle or a box, both of which make it easy to drink juice all day. It says, for children between 4 and 6, fruit juice should be restricted to 4 to 6 ounces daily. Children between 7 and 18 years old should have no more than 8 ounces, or 1 cup, of juice a day, making up one of the recommended daily 2 to 2 and a half cups of fruit. The Academy also strongly discourages unpasteurized juice products and says grapefruit juice should not be served to children taking certain medications. Ibuprofen, Fluorbiprofen, Woerferin, Phenytoin, Fluvastatin and Amitriptyline, because it interferes with their effects. Finally, the group says, fruit juice is not appropriate in the treatment of dehydration or management of diarrhea. We primarily are supporting that kids learn how to eat fruit rather than fruit juice. Abrams said, I think that comes across more strongly than it has before. Atlanta Pediatrician Drive, Jennifer Hsu, who says the new recommendations are great, agrees with this particular advice. Even though its natural sweetness, juice, doesn't have the same benefits as real fruit, because the fruit has fiber to be more filling, whereas juice is just easy to drink and overdue, said Hsu, who did not contribute to the new recommendations. Sharon Zarabi, a nutritionist at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City, said that with my experience of working with obese adults, we tend to see that what people eat when they're younger is what sticks with them as they get older. Zarabi, who also did not participate in the recommendations, noted that many people mistakenly believe that juice is loaded with vitamins. When you isolate fruit into a liquid form, you're mostly getting sugar water and it's easy to consume excess calories in liquid form, and those calories can add up, and they're void of any protein or fiber, which is usually what helps keep people satiated, Zarabi said. She recommends eating whole fruit for vitamins instead. Occasionally beneficial, Shu, who agrees with limiting juice in children's diets, said it's sometimes beneficial. In general, the time that I tend to recommend juice is if kids have constipation, and apple juice and prune juice can sometimes help with that, she said. I do think there has been a lot of education and press about juice needing to be consumed in moderation, Shu said. We do try to encourage parents to think about juice as a sweet, just as you would soda. Though there may be pros and cons for different juices, 
The Pediatric Academy does not favor one juice over another. Some juices naturally have certain vitamins or minerals in them, Abram said, noting that orange juice has lots of vitamin C. But that doesn't mean that apple juice doesn't provide vitamin C, because it's usually fortified. Shu advises, if you're going to go for better juice, in addition to looking for 100% fruit juice, look for calcium and vitamin D supplementation. This is especially good for kids who have a dairy intolerance or don't like to drink milk. In moderation, it's never there is just one good food or perfect food or one bad food you have to avoid. You have to know juice's place in the healthy diet, Shu said. We prefer simply to let parents make their own decision about that, Abram said and just focus on limiting the total amount of juice. Pediatricians say no fruit juice in child's first year. The nation's top pediatricians are advising parents to stop giving fruit juice to children in the first year of life, saying the drink is not as healthful as many parents think. In the past, the American Academy of Pediatrics had advised parents to avoid 100% fruit juice for babies younger than six months. On Monday, the group toughened its stance against juice, recommending that the drink be banned entirely from a baby's diet during the first year. The concern is that juice offers no nutritional benefits early in life, and can take the place of what babies really need, breast milk or formula in their protein, fat and minerals like calcium, the group said. This is the first time the pediatricians group has updated its guidelines on fruit juice since 2001. I think this is a fantastic recommendation for infants, and it's long overdue, said Dry. LCM Tavares, chief of the Division of General Pediatrics at Mass General Hospital for Children in Boston, who was not involved in the new report. Parents feel their infants need fruit juices, but that's a misconception. The new recommendations may surprise parents who thought 100% fruit juice was healthy for babies, or nutritionally equivalent to fruit itself. But whole fruit typically has more fiber than fruit juice and is less likely to cause dental decay, said Dry. Stephen Abrams, a lead author of the new AAP report and the chairman of pediatrics at the Dell Medical School at the University of Texas at Austin. Whole fruit is less of a pure sugar intake, said Dry. Abrams, we want kids to learn how to eat fresh foods. If you assume fruit juice is equal to fruit, then you're not getting that message. Dry, Man Wei and G, the dentist and chief at Boston Children's Hospital, applauded the ban on juice for infants and took a hardline stance for preschoolers and older children. 100% fruit juice should be offered only on special occasions, especially for kids who are at higher risk for tooth decay, she said. Four ounces of apple juice has no fiber. 60 calories and 13 grams of sugar. By comparison, a half cup of apple slices has 1.5 grams of fiber, 30 calories and 5.5 grams of sugar. The fiber in a piece of fruit also increases fullness. In terms of sugar and calories, store-bought juice is similar to soda. For instance, 4 ounces of lemon-lime soda has 12.6 grams of sugar and 46 calories both slightly less than apple juice. The new report, published online in the journal Pediatrics, also advised restricting fruit juice to 4 ounces daily for 1 to 3 year olds, and 6 ounces a day for 4 to 6 year olds. The 2001 guidelines gave parents more wiggle room to decide if 4 or 6 ounces daily was appropriate for preschoolers. By contrast, the advice for 4 to 6 year olds stayed the same. The latest report curbed the maximum daily intake for older children, aged 6 to 18. It used to be 12 ounces, now only 8 ounces are advised. There's not a convincing link between obesity and children drinking modest amounts of fruit juice. Still, the report said, juice has no essential role in healthy, balanced diets of children. In a statement, Kathy Dunn, a spokeswoman for Gerber, said the company is supportive of the A. A. P. is new advice for infants, and plans to update its website to reposition all Gerber juices for the toddler milestone, which is 12 months or older. Stephanie Mayering, 
and spokeswoman for the Juice Products Association, a trade group, said that while juice is not necessary for children under age 1, real fruit juice is a nutritious complement to whole fruit in a balanced diet for toddlers and older children. Some manufacturers, like Gerber, make juice for infants, marketing it as a way to add vitamin C and flavor variety to a baby's diet, but dry, Abrams said. You want to be careful about saying drink juice for vitamins because they can be added to anything. Another concern is that juice can be a gateway drink of sorts. Dry, Tavares said, adding, We have studies that show infants who drink more juice in that early life period are more likely to go on to drink soda and sugar-containing beverages. Currently, the federal government's advice on healthful eating, called the Dietary Guidelines for Americans, does not weigh in on juice for very young children. The guidelines, which are compiled by the Agriculture and Health and Human Services Departments, make recommendations only for ages 2 and older. The guidelines count a cup of 100% fruit juice the same as a serving of fruit, but urge that at least half of the recommended amount should come from actual fruit. It's unclear if the next U.S. D. A. Guidance will forbid juice for infants, but the very young will be included for the first time in the 2020 guidelines, according to Brooke Hardison, a U.S. D. A. spokeswoman. Some federal assistance programs have already restricted juice for very young child. Since 2009, the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children, known as WIC, has stopped listing juice as an acceptable purchase on the checks given to new mothers and babies in their first year. A WIC check, voucher, or electronic benefit transfer EBT, card specifies which foods in what quantities can be bought at stores, so once a baby becomes a toddler, 100% fruit juice can be purchased. In 2010, the Institute of Medicine of the National Academies, a private non-profit, called for the emission of fruit juice of any type before the age of one year in federally supported daycare centers. More than 4.2 million children, including those in Head Start, take part in the Child and Adult Care Food Program. By October, child care centers and daycare homes will be prohibited from providing fruit juice to infants as part of a reimbursable meal through that program.